night, Joe, with his skill set. He's more than comfortable, really, anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy has incredible stamina and ridiculous cardio. If his opponent can't slow him down, he is not going to be able to keep up with him. Well, this is an outstanding kickboxer making his way to the UFC octagon right now. Very interesting stylistic matchup here tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal of kicks. Great punching technique. Power in both hands. Works the lead leg. Not afraid to work the body. Just a complete kickboxer here. Now plying his trade in mixed martial arts. A dangerous proposition for anyone caught in his striking range. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of seven wins, six losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Richmond, Kentucky, USA, Mitchell. And now, this is opponent fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of five wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Body out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Magnifico. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavins. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? And we are underway. All right, round one underway. He is back seemingly better than ever. He dropped his last fight by decision. It was a fight that certainly could have gone either way. It did not go his way. But all here during fight week, he has said, that is a thing of the past. My focus is the present. I can certainly put that decision loss behind me by getting a win and ideally a finish here tonight. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. All right, first round is underway, and I don't have to tell the avid fan. And you got to watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches. He does not discriminate power from both sides. And a big part of his game plan, obviously, coming in here tonight. That's a nice clean shot. That one hurt. Nice. Oh, he connects there. He just landed an outstanding leg kick. Oh, good kicks. Big Huge hook. shot with the hook. Oh, big left hook there. Crash him there with the right hand. right hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, very nice. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. Nice body kick there. Right hook. Oh, looked like that one counted. Nice head kick. Able to check that kick as well. Nice. Beautiful timing on that leg kick. Oh, tagged him. Oh, effective use of the jab here, Joe. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. And 
Side leg kick lands there. Punishing kick there. All right, 60 seconds now to go in round one. A nice head kick there. Lands a punch. Nice uppercut inside. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh! He hurt him. This could be it. Nice leg kick. Eats a jab there. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. Final seconds of round one. Body kick, look at that. Round two winding down. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Let's get to round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Connects there with the punch. Takes out attempt there. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Back up. Looks like his leg is hurt here, Joe. You can see him limping a little bit. There's a kick. Able to check the high kick. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Oh, oh big shot! Oh, oh nice knee! Oh, he is hurt oh, here! Oh, he might be out! Oh, he's going for it here. Really missed oh. with that right hand. Oh! Oh! Now a right hand! He's hurt again! This could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself Oh, in the he's hurt again! He is in trouble! Re Whoa! Whoa! Another shot, he's in trouble! Big body shot! shot. The body. Huge oh. uppercut misses. Oh. He's got him hurt here. Big shots! Oh, we heard him again. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh! He He's out! Landed a gigantic kick for the knockout. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force, beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000.